I just slung my frog lure off into the... It, it's over there floating. Hey guys, it's the uh, pipe junkie back here. With, uh, this week's video, fishing and loud birds. Uh, I'm out here at the pond behind McDonald's where I live in Irwin. And uh, there's been rumors of bass here, so I'm gonna try, try and catch them. What I'm fishing with right now is just a little topwater frog. And if that don't work, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna tie on a Texas rig and we'll, we'll try that. Or a Carolina rig, whichever one. So I was talking to a guy on down the trail and he said that uh, people have been having luck with a Texas rig. So, might try that. So, uh, I'm gonna try my hand at time-lapse footage too. I'm gonna do a little bit of casting stuff here and try my hand at some time lapse footage. even getting no hits with this, this frog um, so I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tie on a Texas rig and uh, see if we can't bounce a little lizard around on the bottom so stay tuned all right guys we're back and uh, I've got me a little lizard a I believe it's a pumpkin chartreuse a little Texas rig with a little little tungsten weight there in case you fishermen don't know what a Texas rig is and don't want to take a look at it that's it we're gonna bounce this fella along the bottom and see see how that goes time for more time lapse
Okay. I'm seeing fish jumping and I hear bullfrogs. But I'm not getting any bites. And I'm wondering. I'm about to get bored. We're just being honest here. And I know fishing is all about patience and whatnot, but I do get bored quite, quite easily. Plus, I've also heard it's really hard to catch the bass in this pond. I think what I might do. I see him boiling right over there, like bubbling. I don't know if that's bass or not. Probably not. But, uh, might take his weight off and just rig this thing weightless. And just run it across the top. It's a viable option. So let's do that. All right, guys, we've changed angles here because this is right behind me is where, where I'm, uh, right where I saw them fish jumping. So what I did here was I just basically rigged it weightless. Texas rigged, a little lizard. We're going to drag him across the top and see if he does anything. Guys, my uh, bait just slung off, which means that not wasn't tied correctly, which means I have just lost a hook. I guess what I'm going to do now is tie on a uh, another frog. See where that gets us. Alright guys, we've got our little frog tied on. We'll see if they hit any anything with that. So, uh,
I'm done. I'm I'm done. I'm just done. That's it. No more for me. Because you know what I just did? I just slung my frog lure off into the... It, it's over there floating. I'm done. Let's go home. Open the mystery tackle box, shall we? Alright guys, we're back at the house now. After a bad day of fishing. Still better than a good day at work. Smoking my... See if I can get it in the light. My Lorenzo. With a little bit of uh, dust till dawn. Every time I try to film, by the time I get the idea, or I get home from whatever I'm doing, it's dark. And I have to rely on my candles. I would have my oil lamp, but uh, I was cleaning the soot out of the globe, and it broke. Cut my finger and everything. So, I have to find a replacement for that. But, uh, I was at Walmart today, getting my frog lures and Texas rigs and whatnot, and I saw this, called Mystery Tackle Box. And this is just the regular one. It's, uh, it's box number 133. Five to six items, around $25 value. It had been opened, though. So I'm not real sure if it's been stolen from or what. We'll find out. But uh, go ahead and open it. And right off the bat, we get some... Um, what are they called? What are these called? Ten thousand fish. Summer shad. They're strobe strips. They got a little strobe in the middle of them that catches the light. These will be fun to fish. What is this? We get. Some Somatis baits, soft plastic, curly tail worms. Those will be fun to fish. Got a little tips and tricks thing there. Got some. Some Dobbins D swim jig heads. Some mustad hooks. That was only four items. Why did that why did I only get four items? Should have been five. Either it was stolen from, or they're counting this decal as one. I'm not real sure. And the box has got stuff in it as well. It's got a little, like a fish scale on the side of it. Length goes all the way up to 19 inches. Well, I was just casting a shadow on my face there. Uh, 
yeah that's that's the box not a lot in there I'm thinking something might have been taken from it from it for it to be that sparse but I was hoping I'd get a spinner maybe some crankbaits or something we'll uh If I get another one, I'll probably go to Academy and get like the Pro or Elite or something like that. I mean, it's not bad. Let's see. What is this? Tips and tricks. Spinning versus casting. Why, when, and where. How to tie the Palomar knot. I probably should have learned to tie the Palomar knot when I was fishing. I may, Maybe I wouldn't have lost that frog. I'm still mad about it. Anyway, it's getting darker and darker out here, and I'm starting to lose light. So uh, I'm going to enjoy this pipe, and catch you guys on the next one. God bless. Be safe.